Hello and welcome to another episode of Energy Readings. We're looking at the week of November 13th to the um, 19th, yeah, that's right. And um, so before we go into the star signs, we will look at the overall energy for the week ahead. And I'm drawing to this deck. Let's see what we got. Right then, let me just change this here all a little bit. So yeah, that's easier. <laughs> this week we are all much more connected to Earth. It's quite important uh, also for people who are probably a bit hyper or not so connected to probably um, seek connection to our Mother Earth. Uh, an easy way of doing this is um, by collecting soil, putting it into a little bag and uh, putting it into your pockets. Um, that works wonders. Um, so this week we, we are very, connect, very connected to, to Mother Earth and um, this connectedness will allow us to be very light-hearted in um, even difficult matters and um, are less, less frightened this week to speak our truth. So that's the overall energy for the week. And now we will have a look at the star signs to see um, what matches here. And we're starting with Scorpio, our first star sign of the day. Okay, Scorpio. What is important this week for the Scorpio people is to remember that sometimes the best way to get through something is by truly trying to adapt to a situation without necessarily fully conforming. Um, you have the raccoon, the shapeshifter, so to speak, and the red wolf. And what it really means is that um, you will be asked this week uh, um, to um, not necessarily go against stuff, not, not fight, to not fight things. Um, but to adapt to situations um, and still um, be a leader, if that makes sense. So this is not about joining joining uh, um, the crew, so to speak, but um, be a bit more forthcoming in listening to other people's uh, opinion and suggestions and then adapt to situations uh, accordingly. Because also when you have the raccoon, it means you're well capable of adapting to situations. And, and you're still a leader in your field, so to speak. Um, and that's a short and sweet. That was the message for Scorpio going into Sagittarius. Sagittarius can take it um, easy uh, this week, um, to, a, to a large extent at least. Because this is a week where you really need to realize or ought to realize that, you know, you're doing quite all right. And there's always enough for you to go around. So don't be, um, don't worry about finances this week. Don't worry about, don't ask questions like, uh, how am I supposed to do this? Uh, or, or say to yourself, oh, I can't, I can't do this. I can't afford A, B and C. Because when you talk like this, um, you're trying to manifest money which is not a spiritual currency. What you need to realize is that the universe has got your back. They will look after you. And um, you are quite protected this week. And also this week, um, even though situations seem, may seem to you as difficult, they will not get worse. Uh, if anything, they will get easier this week. Okay, that was Sagittarius going into Capricorn. Draw onto a different deck now. Capricorns, quite important this week. Um, you, it's time that you claimed your, or that you claimed some respect this week. It's quite important. It may take some courage to actually stand up to some people, but 
this week is really important that you do because you have here the Hunter of Honor and the Shaman of Courage. And the Hunter of Honor is that you are, do your credit, but may find it difficult to actually claim it. And this is the week where you can fully claim it um, and trust that you have the courage and can have the courage to actually speak up. It's quite important this week. And that's um, the only message I'm really, I'm really getting for Capricorn, but it's one worth considering. Okie dog. Moving into Aquarius. In many ways, it's quite uh, similar. You are quite protected this week. You have the snake and the coyote. And the snake is the animal that is... Um, the animal of health and the animal of protection. When you go to the pharmacy, you see a snake around the cane. It's it's really uh, an animal of protection. And the coyote is the animal that knows um, that they, ha they have been around a long time. They can adapt very well to situations. Um, they're also quite, quite fearless. So um, for uh, Aquarius this week, it's important to realize that you're quite protected. And every time we talk about protection, what it really means is it's, it's, it's safe to um, uh, make your opinions known and to um, speak your mind, speak your truths, um, go into conversations that are otherwise uh, difficult, so to speak, um, but have them and just trust that people will engage with you um, uh, based on on you making on you making sense because you are making sense and this is a good week to actually have conversations that are probably that were probably difficult or are probably difficult and you probably um postponed some of, of these um deeper, longer, more difficult conversations. This is a good week to uh to to, to probably write down uh, what is important to me, what have I not solved yet, with whom do I have a misunderstanding? And then um Ring these people, text these people, meet these people, and um, and have a good conversation uh, because it comes from the heart. It's really important. And because you have the snake, the other symbolism here is to shed your skin. And it actually means to get stuff off your chest, to say how you truly feel. So that's a good week for Aquarius to do all this. And now we're moving into Pisces. Pisces, like I said every week, like I say every week, my favorite star sign because I'm a Pisces. So let's have a look what we got for for Pisces. Pisces are going with the flow this week. It's important to go with the flow. There are changes coming your way, but um, they shouldn't scare you. Um, if you remain calm, this week and um, in your strengths um, you will get through all the ch changes that life uh, um, has got for you and that life throws at you so to speak as long as you remember to stay calm and to not be chased during the day is another important thing um, don't have people chase you during the day you know your stuff you don't have to have someone tell you every five minutes what, uh, what, you, what you need to do. So um, make sure you have some space here for yourself. Um, but remember the, the changes that you're going through, no matter if they are medical or emotional or, um, or, or, or whatever nature they have, these changes really need to happen. And the calmer you are around them, the, the less difficult they will be. Okay, That's, that was the Pisces. Now we're going into Aries. For Aries this week, it's important to not make, um, to not push for for changes. You need to go with the flow, but you need to keep going. So trust that you have enough strength uh, this week to not sit things out, but to continue going your path because you have the sturgeon and the great spirit, which means you're fully protected. The great spirit um, is a powerful symbolism, which means that by you remaining steadfast to your path, um, you'll get there. 
it's just very important uh, to keep going. At the end of the day, there is treasure at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. There is a new beginning. There is a new truth that you will reach. Um, and this is just a week where you don't have to look for it, don't have to push for it, but just keep on going wherever you're going right now uh, with a little more faith, if that makes sense. Right? So that was Aries going into Taurus. Taurus need a lot of space this week. Um, it's important to be independent and to um, avoid situations that are tedious uh, in nature. You have the cat and the monkey, so um, you need a lot of me time and a lot of space. It's quite important to, be, um, to have space to walk away from things this week, because this is going to be a week where your past will actually catch up with you. So anything that needs to be dealt with, uh, with regards to the past, is a very good chance that this will come up this week. And, um, and space doesn't mean walking away. Space means detachment. So you detach yourself from whatever the past reveals to you that still sits here somehow. Or, or people from the past that are still in your life um, that maybe shouldn't be there. And then act accordingly, if that makes sense. So, um, um, Cats are quite fearless, as, as, as you uh, probably know. And so um, don't have any worries, but allow yourself to not hide from the past any longer. And, um, uh, but rather look at it and embrace it and make changes. Okie doke. That was Taurus going into Gemini. For Gemini, not that much is happening this week. Um, you have made a lot of progress, but things feel repetitious to you, feel you're not really moving. But you have to go through these um, well repetitive uh, moments this week where you feel I'm not really moving, it's always the same, when in fact it isn't. You have made a lot of progress in in in, in areas. Um, what I feel, uh, ex, uh, um, what I feel is actually uh, emotional. So uh, emotionally, you have made a lot of progress. But you you need to keep on healing. You need to keep on trusting, um, because in the end you will get there. And it may feel that you're on a, you're at a standstill. Um, and all the guides are saying is you're not. You're making progress. It is steady which is important. It may not feel um, that fast, but you're going. You're going towards, um, your, your, uh, you know, your, or you're going through your healing, which is important and it may take a while, but as long as you keep going and just know that, that this repetitiveness uh, of sometimes feeling heavy, probably even feeling a little lost, um, will not be forever. Um, so they're asking you to stay and remain calm this week and just trust that your journey, albeit um, um, uh, a slow one, um, will be fruitful in the end because you have already made a lot of progress. Okay, that was Gemini going into Cancer. Let's see what we got for the Cancerians. It feels a little bit weird actually because um, this week, rather than having uh, someone filming this, I bought these, this tripod. And filming it myself and so it's weird um, talking to myself in a way rather than talking to a person that that holds um, the phone but it is what it is so going into cancer having a look at cancer okay for the cancerians this week it's really really important this will be a week where you will uh, and can release quite a lot of pain quite a lot of old, stale energy that doesn't quite serve you anymore. This is a week where purification, as it were, is happening to you, where you probably feel you're, you're going one way and your soul is going another. So there, you will not always be in sync with yourself this week. 
Um, but it's important to realize that purification is the, the, the most important thing for you this week. And um, so letting stuff go that you can't control is quite, is quite important. You also have the unsuccessful skill, which means you have probably gone through similar things um, before. Um, so you know that you always survive things and that letting, letting things go, no matter how painful they are, um, you, you've been there. You can, you can do it. You got this. So that's just um, Cancerians moving into Leo now. For Leo, it's important this week to, to remember that some of you are partially hiding. You're not necessarily speaking your truth. You're holding back things, but you're going through changes. And these changes are more than changes. They are transformations. And this transformation needs you to be in your strengths and needs you to be honest uh, to your true feelings. Um, so this is a week to, to um, not sit back and take things. This is a week where you go, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something here and I will no longer hide. Um, it will be much easier to go through changes uh, when you speak your truth. And you can see there's a little pattern here emerging. Um, similar messages have been given um, for other star signs. So a lot of people this week are going through changes. And it's important that you realize you, you got this. And you will be fine as long as you um, remember to speak your truth. Right. So that was Leo going into Virgo. For, for for Virgos, it's quite interesting um, in the sense that this week you can take a breather uh, because things will come to you. You will see things coming quite easily this week. Um, it's very unlikely that you actually run into situations where you go like, oh my God, what's happening here? You know, this week, if you pay attention and again, be a little bit detached from things, um, you will see them coming. Um, there will be very few surprises really this week and you have the bald eagle and the elk and the elk is like, like I always say with antlers so you fully protect it uh, but it's also a very heavy animal that can still that doesn't that still doesn't sink in um, on um, on moss of or, or, or um, well soil that doesn't seem too um, too sturdy and too stable so you will be just fine this week don't worry about stuff you will not be uprooted uh, uh, this week at all um, but remember you stay detached and you see things coming to you and then as calmly as possible you deal with them right that was um virgo yeah sorry <laughs> virgo going into libra the last star sign for today Here we are with Libra. For Libra, it's important to realize that you may feel as if you do all the work and you may not necessarily be wrong. Not everybody around you may pull the weight, but because you know how to do things and you, uh, uh, on your own and you know your own strengths, you're quite safe you know that that you can look after yourself and after yours um, so don't get disheartened by people who are maybe not as quick as you are maybe not as um, committed as you are obviously it would be important that you have a conversation um, to talk about to talk about uh, you know uh, the fact that that you feel a little bit isolated here uh, at times and that you really have to work hard to make things work and um, that you miss the other person's um, uh, commitment to things so, so obviously it makes sense to have a to have a conversation but this week is really important also to realize how intelligent you are how well like i said how clever you are 
but also how important it is for you um, to um, realize that you see things just the way they are. You can look right through people, you know who is doing what, um, your, your senses are fully there, they will support you. Um, and so this is a good week to um, realize that it's time to say to people um, that don't quite put the, the, the work in, so to speak, um, to, uh, to be a bit more forthcoming um, with, with their help, but also realize, and it, and it may sound a bit weird, um, that you don't really need anyone. You're just going to be fine. So that doesn't mean that the guides are asking you to walk away from people that are not pulling the weight. But it's important to realize that um, there is a, a lot of strength in you um, because you do care about yourself and others and you are prepared to go the extra mile, which is a very nice thing uh, to do. So it's time to pat yourself on the back and realize that you are a good person. And that's all we have time for. Um, I see you all next week. And now I'm going to switch this off. <laughs> see you next week. Bye-bye.